Okay, let's try take two. <sighs> Justice for Floyd. George Floyd was a man that was living here in South Minneapolis. He moved here from Texas. Doing probably what everybody that moves here has a desire to do. Make a change in their lives. Because, you know, we all hear Minnesota's the place to be. And it is. There's lots of great opportunities, lots of things that, that go on here. And there's a stronger sense of community here than what I've seen anywhere else. But on Monday, Monday evening, he tried to pass off a forged check at the neighborhood Cup Foods. It's just not Cub, Cup Foods, it's a 38th in Chicago, which is a crime. But even then, it being a crime, is it one that was worthy of his death? Four Minneapolis police officers were fired yesterday. I mean, police were all around, FBI was here, behaviorists, training specialists from the police department were here, and they all said that the force was excessive. Now granted, those guys still need to have their day in court, and their due process will take a lot longer time than what it did for them to take his life. And I can say allegedly, but if you've seen the video, then you've seen the video. You be the best judge for yourself. Which is what brought people to being so enraged yesterday here. I mean, it's not just the black community that was enraged. There were black, Hispanic, uh, Native Americans, white. There were people from all different races and cultures. There were people from all different religions that were just upset and tired of the fact that this keeps happening again and again in Minneapolis. When I moved here, it was such a nice, peaceful place and everything was wonderful. And there's still really great things about Minneapolis. But that which happened yesterday, yesterday and the day before was not so good. Now, yesterday they fired those officers. Hopefully they put out a warrant for their arrest and not just letting them do whatever, whenever. <sighs> and hopefully their time will come in court. I pray that justice will be served, even though what I pray for most is peace back in the neighborhood. So, yesterday evening there was a vigil, <laughs> and the vigil would started out peacefully. Over time, people get ideas of, hey, let's move this on to another location. Moved it on to another location, close by the third precinct, I believe it was. <laughs> and then they start breaking windows and getting out of control. So. It ended up turning into being uh, civil disobedience. Which is something that I could see that was going to happen. Which is why I said that I wasn't going to be there at all. Because it's happened before. And usually people will start off calm and consoling each other. And then they will move right to the police department or whatever the offending party is, and let them know how much they are offended by what's going on. This is the world that we live in today. And I think our political figures and our military and police need to understand that the people just aren't going to take things lying down. So, we'll see what comes of this later. Uh, talk to you soon.